And this weekend, you can celebrate the people, history, tradition, and culture of Scotland with the St. Louis Scottish Games and Cultural Festival, a family-friendly event that allows attendees to simply spend a day in Scotland. So here to share more, we have the president of the Scottish Games. We have Scott, and then we have Lee Piper. John, thank you both so much for joining me today. Thank you. Very festive, might I add? Thank you. <laughs> so why don't we first talk about the Scottish Games. What can people expect? Okay, it's a wonderful experience. We're really excited about it. We have good ticket sales. Uh, there's something for everyone, mm -hmm. for, for children, for youth, for adults, for senior adults. There'll be competition with athletics, uh, also with uh, pipe bands, with uh, youth dancers, with a children's foot race, oh my even a tug of war. Oh my goodness, and can we can we kind of dive into some of these activities, because they get pretty physical, am I correct? They do, <laughs> they do. Um, well, in, in the athletics, we have a caber toss, which is okay. a, it's like a telephone pole, uh, 14 to 20 feet long, it weighs about 140 pounds, and you pick it up, which is no mean feat, okay. and then you run with it, and you try to get it to flip over directly, not going to the side. Oh my so, goodness. So okay. there we are with athletics. We also have an event in which you pick up two 250 pound weights. Yeah. 500 pounds total. 500 pounds, Scott. That's right. How far can you walk? <laughs> <laughs> Scott, I hope a lot of athletes come out. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Our shirt size for some of this is like 4X. Oh my goodness. These, these are big uh, people. That is wonderful. And even yeah. if you're if you're not very strong or if music's more your speed, we do have some bagpiping that will be happening. We do have that. We also have a entertainment tent. Okay. Food, uh, merchandise vendors, food vendors, uh, pretty much anything that you would ever think about anything in Scotland. Anything you could ever want and more. It's really a day in Scotland. Precisely. Okay, so John, talk to us about bagpiping. How long have you been doing this? Uh, about 40 years. 40 <laughs> years, my goodness. Okay, and what would you say was the most difficult thing? If you're new into this, like to learn about bagpiping. It's, it's actually super easy to learn. Yeah. It's really hard to get good, okay. but <laughs> that's the fun, right? So, that's the fun uh, of it. We, we teach for free in the band and we take anyone and that's how I got started. Oh, Just well, wonderful. In. And you're going to give us a little sneak peek. Can we hear something? You bet. I'm excited. <laughs> that was amazing. I, I tried to do like a little jig. So I guess go. I need to come this weekend to learn how to dance as well to the, to the right. bagpiping. <laughs> we'll have you take a look at your screen here for further information on the Scottish Games. Again, that's going to be happening this weekend, May 6th. All of that right there. You can follow along on their website as well as their Facebook. And look, there's even a QR code. How wonderful is that? You can go ahead and right. scan that. Um, it's going to make it a lot easier to figure out how to attend. Right. 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. A full day. A full Lots day. To see and do. Family friendly. And Everyone will have a good time. Absolutely. I love it. All right. Thanks, guys, for joining us today. Thank you.